to the tackle. Gallagher against Pallister. And still Gallagher, he's got away here. And he's given Blackburn Rovers the lead, just as he did in this fixture last season. And Kenny Dalglish leads the applause. Gallagher up front now with Newell off. And really looking the part, Andy. This is a goal of immense quality. He's so aware about Pallister's position. And then he's got the pace to take Bruce out of the plan and then he's got the composure to flick it over Schmeichel throwing himself but this is wonderful quality from Kevin Gallagher a little nutmeg there and when you need a bit of composure well doesn't he just have it they've started well I'm not saying they've threatened the goal but they've been positive in everything they've done well, the crowd now Trying to... Uh, Rivers at half-time, no sign of the teams yet, so let's just have a look at one or two more incidents from that first half. What about this half-volley from Tim Sherwood, George? Caught this beautifully, didn't he? Yeah, great cross as well. It's come in and... Uh, fortunately, from the United point of view, he's caught it perfectly, but he said it straight at Schmeichel's. You know, things will be a little bit hot. <laughs> But that's a, that's a very difficult thing to do, hit a ball in half other when it's dropping like that. What about this, Frank? A typical piece of Mark Hughes, really? Yeah, well, he's so strong, uh, I think uh, the, the defender just bounced off him there. Then Henry tried to close him down a little bit late, and uh, it was a good effort, probably about a yard wide. You saw something, George, you thought the referee should have spotted in that first <laughs> half, didn't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're not this is, no, no, you, don't have, to, you don't have to. Can we turn away? Uh, this is definitely a back pass. Oh. Watch this. Oh. I mean... That's a back pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Christmas. Yeah. yeah. This is a silly season. Yeah, yep, he did pick it up. An Irish referee would have given that, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> One nil into Blackburn. Let's rejoin our match commentators Andy Gray and Martin Tucker. supporting Shearer. Gallagher. Just for Shearer wide. Won't deter him. He gets his cross in. Parker really had to wait for the ball to come once he decided to head it. And Blackburn have a corner. And there are 20 minutes to go. Well, Alan Shearer's always struggling. All he can do is try and put it in an area. And really, had, his players had difficulty catching the game up there. Ah! Wilcox with the corner. and forcing the game for Manchester United always the risk that they might just be caught short keeping things tight at the back Ripley not really in his nature to let fly concentrating on keeping possession for Blackburn is so slipping counter now I want to hear past Erwin it's going to be a fight to the finish and I mean a fight well, it was an ugly tackle from Eric Cantor and it came with so hard to hurdle. And then another one from Dennis Irwin. And I think the referee thought, well, one's OK. But two's a free kick, I'm afraid. The man with the French name, talking to the man from France. And uh, the language is quite clear, I think. And it all uh, helps the clock as far as Blackburn are concerned. This has been a tough game for the referee at times, Mark, but I think, given him a bit of credit here, he's coped with it well. Wilcox, it's a deep one. Shearer. Oh. That, that's a corner, surely. I was just going to say. That must be a corner. He almost squeezes it in in the top corner. Just watch this. It's a magnificent leap from Shearer. Gets up early. It's heading into that top corner. And I think Peter Schmeichel, look at that. Gets a full hand on that. And knocks it away. Well. Pallister. And Sharp has taken this in his stride. Kicks going towards the near post. And bodies around him. Blackburn smother the danger, but at the expense of a corner. Colin Henry again was magnificent in there. He knew he had to make the tackle count against Giggs at the near post, and he did so. Look at the goalkeeper, Mark. He's on the edge Michael of the box. Has come up. Well, it happens all the time on the continent. You don't see it very often here. Pallister gets the header in. Flowers makes the save. 
And Paul Ince has put it away. Well, it's the sort of smile that we saw when Blackburn were last here. And Schmeichel, well, he had to be marked. Will he take credit for his part in the penalty area? And Not Paul Ince, who could have been out of the game by now, is very much in it. Well, the goalkeeper does it come. Pallister gets the header in. Flowers makes a magnificent save from McClare. But Paul Ince is right on the spot to smash it into the net. Pallister's time's there. That's a great save. And the goalkeeper, when he's looking for a bit of luck, doesn't get any. But Paul Ince now, what's that? Three goals in these last three games, is it? What a month it's been for him. A goal at Newcastle. A goal here against Aston Villa. And now a priceless effort against Blackburn Rovers, who have performed so gallantly. And now Manchester United going to find something extra in the... Uh, a few seconds that remain as we move into stoppage time, or maybe Blackburn will. From the 16th minute to the 89th, Blackburn Rovers left. But you take nothing for granted when Manchester United are around. Having come so close to pulling off a fine victory, how disappointing is it to have had to end up with a draw? Just uh, a reflection, really, on how far Blackburn Rovers have come in, in such a quick space of time. Uh, I think they deserve more out of it than what they got. Um, but I think that's uh, for people to say that you've come so close to getting a, de well, a deserved draw, to say the least. I think that's a testimony to the efforts that the lads have made so far. Um, I think overall they played well, um, and overall they deserve more from the game. I mean, there's, there's one or two things that might happen in the game, but anything that we discuss it's outside the, the football. I think it's going to take away the, from the credit side of our lads and the way they perform. I gather you're unhappy though about the Manchester United equaliser. Well, as you've said, that, if there's if, if something else to discuss, it will take away from the, the effort and the achievement our lads have had today. And I don't intend to do that. If you've got a, a grievance or a, a disappointment, we're going to hear that privately with the people concerned. But I know I can sleep in my bed tonight. There was some talk amongst the Blackburn players as they were coming off that they thought it might have been a goal kick instead of a corner. Well, I don't know if you speak English or no, Nick, with all due respect to you, but we just said that anything we talk about, the South Side of performance is going to take away from their, their tremendous efforts and achievement today, and I don't intend to talk about it, really. Apart from the end, when obviously, you know, the late equaliser came, what pleased you most about your side's performance today? I think the, the most gratifying thing we can take from it is, if, is it gives the players a lot of belief in themselves, and uh, if a team has confidence in their own ability, as long as they're prepared to work hard, then they can achieve things in football. And I think today could be a tremendous turning point for Blackburn Rovers. Hopefully it will be. It certainly give them confidence and belief in what they've done so far. As they've, it's to their credit that they've, they've gone so, so far so quickly. And they can look forward to the rest of the season with um, a little bit of anticipation. Do you think the title can still be a realistic target for Blackburn this season? Well, I don't know who's, who's going to win the title. I just know that it's not been decided yet. Um, people keep saying that... Um, Manchester United have already won it. Um, I don't know whether Manchester United think that way in the programme today. There's conflicting interest depending on what article you read in the programme. But I'm sure Fergie doesn't think they've already won it. And I certainly don't think they've already won it. I think they're the best side at the moment. Um, but I don't, obviously they've not won it yet. A lot of passion out there today. Did you actually enjoy the match itself as a spectacle? I think you always enjoy it when you're involved in it. Um, you don't always appreciate things that happen in a game when you're involved in it, but I think uh, you always appreciate the game. You always, uh, it's always something that you look forward to. If the adrenaline's not flowing, then you have a problem yourself. All right, well, Kenny, listen, thanks very much for joining us. Well done today. Cheers, Nick. Cheers. Well done, Nick. The match facts. Manchester United 1, Blackburn Rovers 1. Shots, only eight from United, four on target. Eight from Blackburn, three on target. United forced 10 corners to Blackburn's three. They had 53% of the possession, Manchester United to Blackburn's 47%. Our guests here, Frank McClintock, George Best and Phil Thompson. And gentlemen, I think it's fair to say you were riveted.
particularly during that second half, eh, Frank? It was a very tense game, wasn't it? And I thought an outstanding performance by Blackburn Rovers. Very organised side. They work extremely hard for each other and they've got good forwards as well. And I think Man United will probably think that's one of the toughest games they'll have this year. But when you're going for a championship, you do get tough games and you have to scrape through and get your, your goal in the last few minutes like Manchester United have done. That's, that's the signs of being a championship side as well. Fair comment, George? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they kept battling. Uh, Blackburn knew they were going to come at them in the second half. And you saw it with the stats there, with the possession. Uh, left it very, very late. But uh, to call it a full-blooded game would be putting it mildly. <laughs> I mean, it, it seemed to pass, you know, so quickly. And that's a sign of a good game. And I was just saying to Phil, we were just saying that, you know, United obviously didn't play as well as they have been playing and have still come away with something, which is also a good sign. Is that sign. due in part to Blackburn's performance, Phil, or were United I think so. off <coughs> colour? Obviously, you've got to look at it and say, um, Manchester United not played well today, why? And I think it was uh, the hard work that Blackburn put in. I thought it was a marvellous performance by them, especially uh, Henry and uh, Lasso, a left-back. Yeah. Marvellous, marvellous games. Yeah. And we've heard what Kenny Dalglish says. He's not giving up the title yet and he doesn't think it's won. Do you agree? No, absolutely. You, you say that as a, as a player and as a manager, you've got to think that way, otherwise you've got no chance. And things can happen. Three points, you know, you can soon catch up. If, if Man United do slip up two or three matches, all of a sudden it can be almost even Stevens. But as I say, Kenny is like that. He's very cagey, as you could tell <laughs> with that interview with Nick Collins there. That, uh, Nick was scared to ask him the next question, wasn't he? I think Nick's performance was as good as Blackburn. <laughs> Here comes...